After painting 27 Christmas covers for the Post, Norman Rockwell had become closely associated with the traditional images of the holiday. So readers were surprised by the realism he used for his last Christmas cover, which appeared in 1956. Rockwell had worked hard to get just the right expression on his model, young Scotty Ingram. He also worked hard to include touches of realism in the cover. Note the wood grain of the dresser, those nicks, dings, and stains that make a piece of furniture almost a member of the family. He included the twine that had secured the box with Dad's suit and beard, as well as the mothballs that have rolled across the carpet. Rockwell even included the open door through which Junior sneaked in, the stair railings beyond, and the wallpaper on the far wall. Details that had become a trademark of Rockwell's work. Some readers were angry with Rockwell for revealing Santa's secret identity. They said he'd ruined Christmas. But most readers enjoyed the cover. In fact, it became so popular, Rockwell was invited to appear on TV with his model. Surprisingly, posing for this cover didn't destroy Scotty's faith in Santa Claus. In later years, he said he was oblivious to the meaning of the picture. I was a firm believer in Santa Claus going into that shoot, and I was a firm believer when I left. <laughs>